Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're old yet, thanks. And if you're new here, please kindly subscribe. Subscribe, like, and share this video, please. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you will not miss any time I upload a new video. And for my old fans, I really appreciate you guys for being here. Alright, so today we are going to learn on how to create a Valentine flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So now without any further ado i think we should get started right away into photoshop so okay. now press ctrl plus n or you go to a file and you select new so now under this place i'm going to print then under print i'm going to select a5 paper size then come over here then and change it to inches then when you change this to inches, then leave your resolution at 300 and then you click on grids. So now then we are going to our resource file then to import them into the Photoshop. So now come over here and the first thing I'm going to do is to import this paper texture here. Alright, so this is the paper texture that I'm going to scale it out. Right, so the next thing after this one, and then I'm going back to the resource file, then import this one over here. Alright, so drag it up, then you position it somewhere around here. It's okay like this. Then the second one, I will import this one. Then also import this. Then reduce the size. Then I'll position it over here. It's okay. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. And this one I'm going to blow it by 24.9 24.9 then you click ok then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j so as you know then you can dr always drag it over here then to duplicate then now we position this one around here Okay, then I'm going to press my control and U to grade hue and saturation. Then increase this one to this area. Or you can click on this, colorize. Then drag this one over here. Let it be around 340 something. Alright. Then this one, I will drag this one to this position. Ninety one is okay. Then this one, take it back. So you can see the differences of the color now. Alright. Then I'm going to drag it back once more. Minus 23 is OK. All right. Then I'll click OK. Then do the same thing to this one. Control plus U. Then apply colorize. And this one, then import 345. Then this one, then make it maybe 90%. And this one minus 23. So you can see the changes there. All right. So having done this one now, then go back to your resource file and we import this one over here. Then rasterize it. 
right click and rasterize take it above over here then select your magic tool and then click over here then press delete to remove the background then ctrl plus d to remove to remove the line now i'm going to reduce the size over here and now we position it around here then also i will rotate it like this then ctrl plus u then apply the same thing colorize and then over here i'm going to import 345 then the saturations the 90 percent and the brightness minus 23 something like this then apply your blur go to filter then blur gaussian blur then apply the same thing 24.9 ratio okay then i will leave it like this then having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do then is to bring another design here so i'm going to import this one over here and reduce the size then i will make it like this it's okay then ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here to duplicate it then i will take this one over here then this one i will drag this one up like this okay right so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my test okay then and over here you, this is the font i'm going to use then i'm going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font drag it over here then increase the size of the font something like this then ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect all right then having done that one now so the next thing i'm going to duplicate it again ctrl plus j to duplicate then i'll bring this one down then select your test to highlight it then come over here to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then drop your tools and make the font big a little then i'll position it somewhere around the ear then before i continue then i'm going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool again and ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to then make a copy of this um font over here so this is the font i'm going to use and i will come over here then to make a change ctrl plus v to paste this over there then i will select this one then come back to your design and increase the size of the font and now position it around the end then you can increase it okay then ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to ensure that it is at the center then ctrl plus d to deselect okay then i'm going to make a duplicate of this one ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here then you drag this one down then select your test to highlight it then no problem and then i'm going to 
make a copy of this one then control plus v to paste and reduce the font like this okay now i will come back to this one the first test here happy all right then select your test tool then i will change the font color to white then go to your drop shadow then make sure that your bloody mode is multiplied then the opacity 100 percent the distance here then i'm going to reduce it to four then this one then you can leave it to nine then and this one i will reduce it to 13 percent all right then this one now then you click ok then come to your test over here and this one i'm going to change the font to to red then go to your drop shadow and make a change then something like this six is okay then leave this one and at nine and then this one i'll make it 16. all right then you can click okay then just hold your alt key then and you drag the effect to this place then it will apply on it now we are going to change the font color to red then you click on this place to copy the color all right then having done this one now, so the next thing i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j or you drag it over here to make a duplicate then i will bring it down over here then select your test tool highlight it then come over to your test and make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste now ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect then if you are not okay with this then you can use manual then to arrange it the way you want all right so it's okay like this then having done this one now, so the next thing i'm going to to bring this one up over here like this then this one i'm going to increase the size this way something like this then okay all right then take this one up then go back to your test and over here i'm going to make a copy of this Ctrl plus C to copy, then you select your test tool again. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to black. There's the font color black and uh, change the font to a vertical. Something like this. All right then bring it at this position then duplicate it again ctrl plus j to duplicate and you drag it over here then make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then i will drag this one up using my arrow key 
then i will duplicate this one once again Control plus j to duplicate drag it up and now we position it around here then select your test tool highlight it go to your test document and make a copy of this one then Control plus v to paste right now i'm going to select the test here and now we position it around here then you can change the color to red then make a duplicate of this control plus j to duplicate then you drag this one to this position and over here i'm going to make a copy of this one then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size something like this then come over to this position again then and make a copy of this one now you can duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it to your new layer to make a copy okay now select this one and ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to reduce the font size something like this okay all right so select the two hold your shift key while you select it and reduce the size then now i'm going to hold my shift key while i will select it over like this then you drag it and centralize it then go back to your test document and over here i will make a copy of this one then select your test tool and then paste it ctrl plus v to paste and this one i'm going to change the font to red the font color and i'm going to change the font to her vertical regular then make a duplicate of it ctrl plus j to duplicate then position this one over here then come over and select the last one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a then ctrl plus v to paste okay so over here this is the design then i'm going to select this one hold your shift key while you select it then i'm going to increase the font size of this one so you can see now this is the outcome of our design thank you so much for following if you like this design then please remember don't forget to turn on the notification bell like and share thank you until i come your way on another day again